Assalamu alaikum students, how are you all? I hope that you all are doing great. Welcome to your channel Maths D1 D2 Scientific Academy. Today our lecture is related to chapter 11, which is triangles, quadrilaterals and polygons. I'm going to explain you exercise 11, B question number 9. Okay students, I would request you that uh, if you want more help regarding your subject, then you can subscribe the channel. Okay students, question number 9 is, okay, your books must be open in front of you. Question number 9 is the figure shows a rhombus A, B, C, D where the diagonal A, C and B intersected E find the value of X. So here the rhombus is given and the two are diagonals which are D, D and A, C. These two are the diagonals and A, B, C, D is the rhombus. So here we can use the property of our rhombus and uh, we can find out the value of X. Okay, G. Students remember that here in the rhombus, you know that whenever there is an interior angle and uh, this line is by this bisector is cutting this interior angles it means that the angle on both sides is equal so if this is a 3x plus 7 so this is also 3x plus 7 degree in the same way if this is 2x plus 53 so this is also 2x plus 53 okay G. so now here you can see that these two are the parallel lines a b and d c are the parallel lines so we can write down that a b and d c are the parallel lines so here we can use the property of a parallel lines these two angles are inside the parallel line so these two are the interior angles and you know that sum of interior angles of parallel line is equal to 180 degree so these two are the interior angles this angle and this angle these two angles are the interior angles we can add up and we can make them equal to 180 degree this is the property of the a parallel line that uh, sum of interior angles of parallel lines is equal to 180 degree so this is 3x plus 7 this is 3x plus 7 we can write like this 3x plus 7 plus 3x plus 7 here you can see that this whole angle is divided into two these angles in the same way this whole angle is divided into two these angles so here plus 2x plus 53 and plus 2x plus 53 degree is equal to 180 degree. You can write the property over here that sum of interior angles of parallel lines is equal to 180 degree. Now we are going to open up the bracket. 3x degree plus 7 degree plus 3x degree plus 7 degree plus 2x degree plus 53 degree plus 2x degree plus 53 degree is equal to 180 degree. Now solve like terms together, so it means that first we will solve x terms together. 3 plus 3 is 6, 6 plus 2 is 8, 8 plus 2 is 10, so 10x degree. Now add up uh, constants, there are also like terms, 7 plus 7 is 14, 14 plus 53 is equal to 67 plus 53 is equal to 120. is equal to 180 degree so this 120 is adding over here and will go to the other side it will subtract so 180 degree minus 120 degree so 10x degree is equal to when we will subtract so when we will subtract 120 from 180 we will get 60 degree now this 10 is multiplying with this it will go to the other side it will divide this is the rule of the equation now 60 divided by 10 will be equal to 6 so x degree is equal to 6 degree, degree and degree will cut each other. So the value of x is 6. Okay, so I hope that this question is clear to you. What I did is I make these two angles equal and I then I use the property of the interior angles of parallel lines. And I found the value of x. Okay, G, now let's move forward to question number 10. Okay, students, uh, question number 10 is the figure shows that trapezium ABCD where AB is parallel to DC. They have told you that AB and DC are parallel lines. Find the value of X and Y. We have to find out the value of X and Y. Okay, students, what is trapezium? You know that trapezium has one pair of parallel lines. So these two are the parallel lines. This is the pair of a parallel line, which is AB and DC. So here, uh, these are the parallel lines. Now here, in, we can use the property of the parallel lines. So here, x degree and 5 x, these two t angles are inside these two parallel lines. So these are the interior angles. So we can use the property that sum of interior angles of parallel lines is equal to 180 degree. So here, 5 x plus x will be 6 x degree is equal to 180 degree. Now this 6 is multiplying and will come to this side, it will divide. Okay, the x degree will be equal to 6, 3 is 18, 30 degree. So the value of x is 30 degree and degree will cut each other. So the value of x is 
30. Now we have to find out the value of y, uh, the same method. These two are the interior angles of these two parallel lines. So we can use the property of the parallel line that sum of interior angles, that sum of interior angles of parallel lines is equal to 180 degree. Here these two angles are the interior angles of the parallel lines and here these two angles are the interior angles which are inside the parallel lines. So here this is 2.2. Okay, gee. we can put the value of x 2.2. x degree is equal to 30 degrees so we can put 30 over here is equal to 180 degree. So y degree plus now I'll multiply 2.2 with 30. And I will get 66. 66 degrees equal to 180 degree. Now this 66 is adding over here. It will go to other side. It will subtract. So 180 degree minus 66 degree will be equal to 114 degree. Here this degree and degree will cut each other. So the value of y is 114. For instance, we have found the value of x which is 30 and we have found the value of y which is 14. In this question, we just use the property of the interior angles of parallel lines. That sum of interior angles of parallel lines is equal to 180 degree. In the same way, sum of interior angles of parallel lines is equal to 180 degree. And we found the value of x and y which is 30 and 114. For instance, I hope that today's lecture is clear to you. Do the practice of these sums and this concept will be more clear to you. Take very good care of yourself. Thank you very much and a half peace.